Hello, I'm Mark Skoyan. I'm an automation specialist for Warner Electric Minnesota. And we're doing a series of videos on input and output issues associated with VFDs. And in the video we're going to do today is associated with the output side. So we have a pulse width modulated uh, three horsepower PowerFlex VFD. We have 500 feet of cable between the drive and the motor. We're going to have our oscilloscope on the motor or terminated at the motor. We're going to look at the output without a filter. We're going to add a 3% output reactor. We're going to add a DVDT filter. And we're also going to look at a sine wave filter. Okay, now we've inserted the sine wave output filter between the drive and the motor. Again, there's 500 feet of cable between the drive and the motor. We are on two milliseconds per division, so you can see that the output voltage is now much more sinusoidal than the previous pulse width modulated outputs. I'll bring in the output current so we can look at that also. So you can see that the output current is still fairly sinusoidal. Uh, the motor acts somewhat like a low pass filter for the current waveform, but the voltage has changed considerably. We don't have the fast PWM output rise times to deal with. This allows us to extend the motor distances to great, greater, much greater lengths than with any of the other output filter types.